So the only other thing I've got to do is mount my vise. I'm thinking I'm going to put it right here. I've already beefed up the underside of this with multiple two by material. So I want to put it right here. I'm hoping that that doesn't cramp my style when it comes to my workspace. I think it'll be okay right there. The only thing that sucks is if I go for it and I don't like it, then I've got holes in this laminate surface. So I've got this little mini vise right here. It's not very big. So I got this out of one of the houses that we demolished and tore down. I think I'll put it right there, just like that. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I need to pre-drill this. So I'm just gonna mark my holes right here. So this is the biggest stress right here. So I'm gonna drill a hole right here. No, but I drill right there and I'm drilling right onto a screw. So I need to get through that screw. Yep, see that? So just remove that screw. If you can see right there, that's where I was drilling from the top, trying to drill through the screw. So that was right in my way. So there it is with the installation of the vise. I am going to call this a success. So look at the awesome workspace I've got here. It is going to be just straight up fantastic. So I can see a bunch of pieces in here that need to come out. See that piece right there? So that's a little piece in there and I have the replacement part for that. You can see a piece of bearing right there. I don't know how I'm going to get that out of there. So check this out. See, there's one half of the bearing. There's the roller balls that go with it. Or the rollers. And a crap ton of grease that's in there that needs to be cleaned out. So I'll put this thing back into my parts washer. And I'll try to get it as clean as possible. And then after I get it clean, oh, there's another one. I can get some more out of there. So that's it. So that's the bearing, and this is a seal or some sort of something. So once I get this thing all cleaned up, I'll run my wire wheel across this and kind of clean it all up. But I thought you might be interested to see that the bearing on this is indeed shot. These little rollers right here are supposed to go here but I ended up buying new bearings for the whole thing and new seals and new everything to go in, high, in here. I, built a, I bought a brand new rebuild kit. So I'm working on my triplex unit and I've got one of the rollers here from the cutting unit, which is here. And I've taken all the rollers off the cutting units and I've got a problem with this. I need to replace the bearings, the bearing cups, the seals, and a bunch of stuff that goes inside here, right here. And I am having a hard time getting this little bearing cup out of here. So I do not have a bearing puller and I need to pull this bearing cup out of here. So right there is a bearing cup. The bearing sits right here and I've got a new one that came with a rebuild kit and I need to get this out. I've tried several things to get this out like heating up this whole section here with a torch and then hitting this thing with ice to see if it would loosen it that way. I've tried using some pliers and some different things to try to get it out. The service manual for this roller says you can put an arc weld right there and it'll 
heat it up really good and then you can pull it out pretty easily so i'm going to go over to my neighbor's house so let's go over there and get these bearing cups out of there so we kind of figured we could hit this with an acetylene torch and get it red hot or try the welder like the manual says so i'm going to try the welder first and put a little arc on there and see if it'll come out bearing in it. bearing raceway and it is red hot <clears throat> okay so I got them all out that torch worked fantastic the welder not so much <laughs> 